hello you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is courtney and in today's video we are going to be talking about my favorite subject recently going back to school woo, woo, woo. so as you guys know i will be starting my master's program this august and your girl is so pumped and so excited so i wanted to show you guys how i planned out my bullet journal for this first fall semester so we're currently looking at two spreads from my bullet journal setup for august 2024 please check out that video if you have it i'll link it in the description below but right after these pages i'm gonna flip it to the start of the semester and three popular spreads i feel like all students should use to keep it fun easy simple and just keep track and make sure you're staying productive while in school so let's get started so we are jumping into two of the three spreads we will be talking about in this video. The first one is a class list and the second one is a weekly timetable. So for the class list, it is pretty much self-explanatory. It is a list of all the courses you will be taking for that semester, for that nine weeks, for that year, however you want to break it down. It is very important to list your classes. I don't know why we took just signing up for classes and we just took that idea for like we took it for granted because it is so important to know what you're taking, how long it's going for, your professor's name, things that we don't really think about. And that's exactly what this class list is for. So of course I'm doing my typical um, class in my timestamps. I don't know why I wanna call it a timestamp using my stamps for the title of classes and then i'm gonna write the full name of my course including like the course number i'm also gonna write the length of the course so my first day until the last day so for this one it goes from august 27th to december 6th i'm also writing what type of course it is so this one's a web-based course and then I'm gonna write which requirement this covers for my graduate degree. And I'm also gonna write my professor's name. And then I'm just gonna leave a little space just in case there's anything extra I'm missing. I haven't got the syllabi yet for either courses. I had to pause for a second because I wasn't sure if I was using the right grammar. But I haven't got the syllabi yet. So any other small details that I wanna make sure I don't forget when it comes to each classes, I would write that for under each course that I'm listing. For this one, I'm only writing two because I'm only taking two courses this semester. Now, one important thing I am doing with this class list is that I'm assigning each class a specific color. So I'm using a mild liner zebra brush pen and then a two-tone highlighter that I got from a small shop called Modern Faith. And these will be my two colors that I'm using for these two courses. They're both blues. Blue is my favorite color, but they're both very distinctive still so I can recognize them if they're next to each other. And those are going to be the same colors I'm using throughout the spread to highlight each specific course. Now moving on to the weekly timetable, which I'm so excited to implement in my bullet journal for the school year, because this is literally how I see my week in my head. So to actually have it out on paper is just so it's like such a big like I feel like I can exhale <laughs> like it's so like nice so of course again I'm using my famous stamps to write weekly times table not times table timetable and then I just did one big rectangle using my black micron gel pen in the size 005 and with that big rectangle I separated it into five columns so I didn't do the weekends and I'm gonna explain that in a little bit but I just did Monday through Friday, which are the times I will actually be having the courses, of course, because my classes do not teach on the weekends, thank God. So that's what I'm mainly focusing on. 
I know that a lot of the times you, we might have papers due on the weekends or discussion posts or we might study on the weekends, but I didn't want to implement that in my times table. Oh my God, timetable, because... I want the weekends to be mainly for myself. I don't want to apply weekends with school. I know I'm an adult and I need to grow up, but I'm gonna, I'm taking my weekends and you guys should too. Give yourself a break. Always implement breaks and the weekends are my breaks. So if I need to do th something in regards to school on the weekends, of course I will do it because right now school is a priority. We want to make sure we get those grades. We graduate on time. But the weekends are kind of like a reset for me, you know? So we want to make sure that we are giving our time, our rest and relaxation time. So that's why the timetable is specifically for Monday through Friday when we have the courses and we want to map out our routine for when we're going to class. And then on the side of my table, I did my times. So I put a space in between it or like one line of dots. And I did it from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. I normally wake up at 6 a.m. So I wanted to keep it as realistic as a time that I consistently wake up in the morning. And then typically by 9, I am ending my day, even like with work or whatever I have to do. So I'm in bed or at least prepping for bed. So that's when... I don't want to be up doing work, but if I have to, we're going to stop it and set that boundary and stop it at nine. So yes, I just counted out the spaces, had to change my mechanical pencil because my mechanical pencil lost its lead, but yes, wrote it out in pencil just so I can space it properly and then did 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. each with a line in between. Our final spread is what I call a semester at a glance, and it is a double page spread. Don't let the space confuse you or scare you. It's very, very easy, very, very simple. So my courses are from August to December, although technically classes don't really get started until September because you only really have one week of August and that first week is like syllabus week, so you don't really do much. So in order to kind of create a look ahead or to know what to expect when it comes to grad school because I know I'm going to be writing papers and presentations and readings and a lot of bigger events that are way down the road. I wanted to make sure I can properly plan for that. So this is kind of a way to time keep how much time I have when it comes to completing that paper or doing that presentation or that project if that makes sense. So on one side I wrote my four calendars for September, October, November, December. And then I color coded each of them with the same two colors that I use for those courses. Remember when we did the class list, I said, keep those colors. So that's what we're gonna use it for this spread. So now I know which blue correlates to which class. And then I added another color, which is green, as you can see. Well, it might be coming up. I'm talking pretty fast. Again, my voiceovers aren't at the aren't during the same time I'm actually recording it. But I decided to add a green color and that is for events. So I know one thing I didn't really get to do much in undergrad was be involved in like community events or campus events when it comes to organizations or just like my major. And I wanna do that for grad school. Despite me being online, my school isn't that far, so I can always just go up there if need be. But I really wanna be hands on and actually like build a network and community for the field I'm in, for the career I'm in. So I'm scheduling events because I know there are a lot of events held, whether it's via Zoom or at a specific location on my campus. So I am very, very excited. And I shouldn't even be saying campus because my, my school doesn't even say campus, we say grounds. So if anybody has went to UVA out there, so, so sorry, grounds. <laughs> but 
yes so i created a little tab not tab but i created a specific key for certain events that i might want to attend feel free to add whatever key you want just i say keep it consistent and the same colors so you don't get confused for every month and then with the free space i'm just basically going to write anything that needs to be done within that month so let's just say i have a paper on september 4th so i would highlight that color with a specific highlighter i'm using and then i write on the free space september 4th paper due for my research class i'm talking a lot but i think i'm explaining it pretty well but that's basically where the rest of the space is going to go to is just you writing it out in detail all right I highlighted a blue dot on September 18th. Let's what's happening on September 18th. And you're just going to keep on making notes. And this is what you're going to go back to just to keep in mind of what to look for next, what to look forward to next. I hope that makes sense. All right, you guys, we have made it to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment what type of back to school content you would like to see. Subscribe, follow me on all my socials, and I'm wishing you guys a happy and productive school year.